ball off to Watson. Off left tackle. He's boosting through again. Down the far sideline. It's a foot race for Blake Watson inside the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Old Dominion. How about 67 yards? Put it on the total for Blake. Touchdown, ODU. Number two, Blake Watson. This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. Monarch Nation celebrating coming off a big road win last week. And with that, we welcome you to the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Back here in studio for the week, Ricky Ronnie and Mark Davis. And Coach, that had to be a fun flight back last week. Yeah, you know, it was uh, one of the things about flying back or just coming back in general. You know, you kind of watch the tape. You know, we, we get it on our iPads already. And, uh, you know, so it, it, you kind of watch the tape and you get to see, you know, maybe... How you saw it, was it right or wrong? Um, and then, but I, one thing you were able to see, there were some really good plays and maybe I missed while it was live. I thought maybe some plays were good, but there were some, some great individual efforts that uh, were happening that, that really made the difference. So you fire up the film and watch it on the way back. Yeah, yeah, so that I don't, so that I can have some time with my family when we get home, you know, so uh, that, that, that was, you want it done, I mean, you yeah. want to put it to bed as soon as you can so that you can uh, wake up the next morning and move on to the next one. Moving on to the next one, 1-0 one and o mentality is well documented with you guys. How, after a win like that last week, how do you get the guys to reset last week to just get going and, and, and you know, just, just turn the page and, and not be thinking about the win too much? Well, we talk, I mean, we, we make sure to emphasize that. And, and also, I think, you know, the opponent we have coming in here, they had a big win as well. Um, so I think that that's very easy to motivate the, the team when, when they see that, okay, these guys we got coming in here are, is a good football team. So um, we got to get ready to go. You talk about turning points and, you know, confidence building and everything like that. And sometimes you look back on a season and say, hey, you know, this is where we really started to see things click. With 528 total yards of offense, is that one of those things that you think you might look back at the end of the season and think that was this past game? I think maybe it was even before that. I think there were some times where we were putting together some some really positive momentum on offense even before that. I think uh, there's some glimpses of it happening, you know, uh, throughout the last two or three weeks. And so then to be able to put it all together, um, it was very strange. I've, I've only been part of one other game in my career where we only had eight drives, you know, uh, and, and, and so we only had 50, we only snapped the ball 51 times on offense, which is, you know, obscene. You know, right. They, they snapped it like 90. So. Um, so to be able to average, you know, more than 10 yards per play is, 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 is pretty darn good. You know, over 30% of our plays are explosive plays. We talk about explosive plays as being passes over 15 or runs over 12. We had over 30% of our plays were explosive plays, which is, you know, a, a, pretty, a, pretty crazy, a pretty crazy deal. Well, and Blake Watson, an explosive performance for you guys last Saturday. If he yeah. can keep going like that going forward starting tomorrow, and, and, I mean, you can't expect, I guess, 250 yards per game. But with that said, if he can do stuff like that, I mean, that, that bodes well for you guys. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it's amazing what one game can do for you. Everyone's wondering where, you know, hey, how can we get Blake back on track, back on track, and now he's the 14th uh, ranked rusher in the country. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's amazing how quickly it can turn on you. And, and that was a great performance. I thought he used his offhand very well to create explosive runs. Uh, he was patient uh, to the whole explosive through it. Our, our offensive line, our tight ends, um, and our, our wide receivers did a great job of blocking and, and really opened up some key things. I mean, he was, getting, he was able to get on a lot of those runs four, five, six, eight, nine, ten mm -hmm. yards before he was even touched. Um, so I think that that was, that was key. And I thought our offensive staff did a great job of designing plays and getting us some, into some good angles for those sort of things. Well, and you talk about your offensive staff. You guys inserted some wrinkles there with DJ, who had a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. Is this indicative of what we can see going forward? Well, we've been working on that pack for a few weeks, you know, wanted to make sure that we had it down in, in, in the way we had it. Um, it's something that obviously we know that DJ's a, a talented player and he, he does some great things with the ball in his hand. So we want to make sure that we use our, our playmakers as much as possible. Well, and, you know, you guys scored first for the first time all season. I mean, that had to feel good to be playing with the lead and protecting the lead rather than trying to climb out of a hole. You know, I just I thought that first drive was excellent. You know, we were able to establish the run right off the jump um, and score on an explosive run play. You know, I think it, it even started even on the kickoff return. That was a really well-blocked kickoff return. We, if we could have had one one more block, I think that one, we, we may not have needed a first drive. So, um, you know, that was, that was something that, that was great, too. So, you know, it was a complete team win. 
Um, and it was funny because usually, you know, our special teams has been very explosive and very dominant. Uh, we weren't that in this game. We were just kind of even with them. Um, and to be able to play the way we played with just even special teams, I think, is, is a sign of growth as well. Well, and, you know, you talk about this conference early on. You guys beat a previous unbeaten team on the road. We'll talk about Georgia Southern's win over JMU here in a little bit. But, uh, but what are your early impressions of the Sun Belt so far? We've said before, these are the games that it's going to be like this, game in and game out. I mean, it's. Uh, it, I don't think we should ever call anything an upset, ever call anything a surprise. I mean, this is this is how it's going to be week in and week out. It, it, it's pretty amazing. I mean, the, the amount of talent that is in this league from a player perspective, the amount of uh, talent that is in this league from a coach's perspective is, is I mean, it's... It's pretty impressive, and I think that we've got to be ready each and every week. The fan bases are passionate, so the mm -hmm. games are going to be tight and those sort of things. So, I mean, this is this is what college football is about. This is what you want it to be about, and, and, and I think it's a great experience for not only our, our players but also our fans. Well, how much do you enjoy that as a coach? I mean, you're focused on the opponent in front of you, I grant you, but with the, say, at the same time, you got to enjoy stuff like that as a coach when each game presents this challenge to you guys and, 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 and this passion and these playmakers and these atmospheres. Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, this is what you want. I mean... You don't want anything to be easy. I mean, you want it to be, you know, to inspire you, make you come into work hungry to find a way to make it happen and win a game and all those sort of things. So this is this is this is how you want it. You know, this is this is pretty ideal. Um, I think this is how this conference is going to be for the foreseeable future. I mean, it's just the way that the. Uh, these universities have invested in the programs, the, the type of players we can attract based on our fan bases, but also based on where we're located. And, and, and I think this is just how it's going to be year in and year out. Well, the next challenge for you guys is tomorrow against Georgia Southern on homecoming at home. We're going to dive in with Coach about the Eagles of Georgia Southern. That's coming up when the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. 28-14, Old Dominion leading Coastal Carolina, looking for more. There's a jump pass to Spencer. Touchdown, Old Dominion. DJ Mack is back. Hampton Roads, what's good? Yeah, tell us. News 3 is dedicated to giving you the good news. <laughs> so let us know about the positive things happening in your community right now. Arr. It's what's good. <laughs> Send your stories to good news at WTKR.com. Let us know what's good. Welders help keep America running. Building and repair of ships, bridges, pipelines, and skyscrapers. Prepare for your future with ATI. Hands on, learning by doing, in the booth. Work with steel and aluminum. Earn up to five American Welding Society certifications in structural and pipe while in school. Complete the program in just 15 months. Classes starting soon at the Virginia Beach campus. Learn more about all of our hands-on programs at auto.edu. Be safe in there. Help keep what's important to you safe with Chevy Safety Assist, standard on these Chevy SUVs. Find new safe places, find new roads. Well qualified buyers can get 1.9% financing or get $1,200 cash allowance on all 2022 Equinox models. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. I'm an independent boater and a serious fisherman. Out here, you like to catch a redfish if you can, but sometimes you just get stuck with a blowtoad. I support Elaine Loria because I know what I'm getting. She's strong on defense, supports public education, and great with the environment. She's in the top 10% for bipartisanship, and she's an advocate for recreational fishermen. You know, I don't ever throw back a good catch. I'm Elaine Loria, and I approve this message. The holidays are just around the corner. Is your bathroom ready for company? Jacuzzi Bathroom Model by Mr. Fixit can help. Why wait to get the bathroom of your dreams? We're offering 50% off labor and take advantage of our easy pay program. No money down, no payments until 2024, or payments as low as $99 a month. Let us put our 52 years of experience and customer trust to work for you. Jacuzzi Bathroom Model by Mr. Fixit. You can have the bath you've always dreamed of without spending your life savings to get it. This is the 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. With seven 4x4 drive modes, you can take on the trails and make a clean getaway from all things basic.
The 2022 Nissan Pathfinder. Anything but basic. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on Pathfinder or shop our inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Wolf in the shotgun, Watson to his right. He's got the snap, turns, hands the ball off. First down and more. Blake Watson, far side. Touchdown, Old Dominion. Watson to the house from the 25. That was Ted Alexander on the call. 94.1, the Old Dominion Sports Radio Network. If you can't make it out to the game tomorrow. And coach, tomorrow is the Eagles of Georgia Southern coming off a big win of their own. Give us a scouting report of the Eagles. Well, they've got an explosive offense, I and mean, they've played really, really well. Uh, Coach Helton does a great job there, and, and uh, they've done some incredible things on offense. We've actually played against this quarterback. He was a quarterback at Buffalo last yes. year. Um, but they've, you know, they've done some good things. I mean, they, they threw for an ungodly amount of yards in the last game, um, and, and that's how they've been doing it. They, they've really been throwing the ball around. On defense, uh, they do a great job of giving you a bunch of different looks by game, and, and you know, they really, you can tell they go in and they game plan. Uh, their opponent very, very, uh, you know, it's very specific. And so we've got to make sure that we're able to respond and adapt because we may get some things that maybe we haven't seen on tape before that. Well, you talk about their game plan and being specific. That sure looked to be the case this past Saturday when they upset JMU. Uh, you know, what, what was the formula there? What, what, what made that work for them? <laughs> well... They, 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 they forced uh, JMU to try to throw a lot of deep balls and things like that. JMU hit them early, um, and then they kind of went to a lull, and then JMU started getting going again. Uh, but, and then on offense, they, I mean, they just threw it all over the field. And, 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 you know, they're willing to take some shots and, and, and throw into some tight windows and things like that, but they also get the ball out very, very fast. They've only been sacked. I think two times so far, which is incredible how many times they've thrown the ball. Well, and you talk about throwing the ball. Van Trees, who was with Buffalo, as you mentioned, last year. So you guys kind of got a little sneak peek of him. He's second in the country in passing. So it's one of those things. I mean, I guess that ups your, your need to get to him pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. And he's going to get the ball out of his hands. He's, he, he's not afraid to throw it into a tight window. Um, he trusts his guys to make plays. And, and, and you know, his offensive lineman got to love him because he's not sitting back there and holding the ball now. I mean, he's getting rid of it. Three wide receivers who eclipsed 100 yards last game. They got a strong running back as well. It didn't show up necessarily against JMU. I think they only had 12 rushing yards all day. But they, they have a well-balanced uh, offensive attack, it would seem. Yeah, I mean, they can. I mean, they, they, they have the ability to run the ball, and that's what we've got to be ready for. We can't just think they're just going to throw it every time. They obviously want to run the ball, and that's what who Coach Helton's been in the past. You talk about Coach Helton. Been in some big games, coached some big programs. I mean, here's a guy that, that, that knows what he's doing. Yeah, I've coached against him one time in the Rose Bowl. Um, unfortunately, they, they got us at the end there. Um, but no, he, he's, he's, a, he's a great man. You know, anybody who has ever come in contact with him um, would tell you how, how special of a person he is. And so, you know, they, they are, uh, um, he's doing a great job there. And, and it's always talked about, you know, trying to build that program up from a triple option. And, and obviously, they, they've changed the culture there. Hey, I know homecoming doesn't mean much to you on the field, but do you have any responsibilities you have to do off the field? Do you enjoy seeing the alumni come back? Is that something that you, you take part in as a coach when you're not focused on game prep? No, they do a good job of keeping me out of that stuff. <laughs> uh, but, they, but no, I love having the alumni there. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, um, you know, we don't have a deep history for football, but the people we do have a lot of passion. So I love seeing them come back, you know, after the, you know, just, you know, after last week, you saw a lot of guys tweeting about the win and all those sort of things. It's love, I love that those guys are following us. Hey, one more before I let you go, Coach. Is this kind of an interesting exhibit of how far two programs have come? The last time ODU and Georgia Southern met, it was the 2012 FCS playoffs. Now you guys meet as FBS teams coming off two big wins. I mean, is this kind of a, a nice kind of showcase of how you guys far out you, each program has come in the last 10 years? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I, I know that Old Dominion fans are, you know, there, there's some... Uh, bitter memories there. There's some battles, you know, against Georgia Southern and some, and some spots where, you know, some big things were on the line. And, and I think that that's how it's going to be from now on, too. You know, there's going to be some, some big moments on the line. And, and I think that, uh, you know, it's awesome that, you know, both programs have come up, you know, and, and, and continue to battle for championships in, in, at the next level. And we see the latest chapter tomorrow on Homecoming at ODU, 3.30 on ESPN+. Plus. Fourth down and goal from the two-yard line. He's back to pass. Look at corner part pattern. Far side, it's Ali Jennings. Does he make the catch? Yes! Touchdown, Old Dominion! Wolf to Jennings! Did you know Elaine Luria actually praised the Biden economy? She just doesn't get it. I'm getting hosed here. Blame Elaine Luria. She helped create this economic mess, has no real plan to fix it, and we're paying the price. Oh. Luria is so 
out of touch, she voted to give stimulus checks to criminals. Liberal Elaine Luria. She's hosed us for the last time. I told you, blame Elaine Luria. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. If this is anything like the last time we bought a car, it's going to be a long day. Welcome to Check Your Flag. Hi, who can we talk to about trading in our vehicle? Greg can help you with that. What about financing? Greg's got you covered. Who can explain all of the vehicle special features? Greg as well. You're Greg! I am, and I can do all of that in about an hour. Quick and easy? Easy peasy. At Checkered Flag, one friendly specialist will help you find a vehicle that's haggle-free, commission-free, and comes with a three-day money-back guarantee. Quick and easy start to finish. Right now at Rooms to Go, just $9.99 or less will buy you a complete bedroom package. It's true, and not just one or two. There's a lot to choose from. Now just $9.99 or less. Prefer another look? Try this one or this one. All amazing bedroom buys. Your choice in a great selection of styles. Now just $9.99 or less. In stock, ready to go, ready to deliver fast. So hurry in for your amazing bedroom buy. Now at Rooms to Go. And it's Liberty Bell, closest to the layer. Around the bend turn, and it's a horse that's come. Fastling, we're on the outside. And there we go, the track. They come down the way. drama to every drive. The exhilarating Audi SUV family. Get exceptional offers at your local Audi dealer. I'm an independent boater and a serious fisherman. Out here you like to catch a redfish if you can, but sometimes you just get stuck with a blow toad. I support Elaine Loria because I know what I'm getting. She's strong on defense, supports public education, and great with the environment. She's in the top 10% for bipartisanship, and she's an advocate for recreational fishermen. You know, I don't ever throw back a good catch. I'm Elaine Lurie, and I approve this message. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job so you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. Well, as we discuss with Coach, back home after a big road win, taking on Georgia Southern tomorrow, we catch up with the players now about taking on the Eagles on homecoming. They present a lot of fronts, and they, like, they do some different things than what we've seen, so we're going to have to like, practice our game plan and be locked in on it and execute it to the highest level. Coastal guy, we knew he was going to stay in the pocket and everything, sure. and he's a, a little more of a patient, you know, wait for his routes to develop. Mm -hmm. And since this guy gets it out so quick, you know, obviously we uh, we have to we have to account for that. Like you know, whenever we're rushing, we might have to do a little something faster, or maybe a smoother. Like we really have to bring our A game for this guy since he gets it out so smooth. Of course, the players battle Georgia Southern tomorrow at 3:30 on ESPN Plus. Well, as we spoke about with Coach Ronnie, some wrinkles we saw against Coastal Carolina with the offense. News 3 Zach Staten catches up with the man at the center of it. You never know what opportunity might come around for you. It seemed like the perfect scenario for DJ Mack. Transferring from Central Florida back home to Norfolk and Old Dominion. First time I got on the phone with Coach Ronnie, it was all about building tradition. But just six games into a starting tenure a season ago, the quarterback benched in favor of Hayden Wolf, then missing out on another chance to win back the job this offseason. But you wouldn't know it talking to Mac. Of course, it was hard, but I was also, you know, kind of proud for Hayden, seeing how hard he works. And uh, my biggest thing was just always trying to stay ready and always trying to, you know, be able to be in a position to want to contribute to the team. He's a vocal guy and he brings awesome energy to this team and that has never wavered in no matter what situation he's been in. He was hopeful a chance to get back on the field would come. And in Conway, South Carolina on Saturday. It's a package we've been working on uh, for a few weeks. DJ got his moment. Back in the huddle. Back on the field. Feel good to be in that moment with my brothers. You know what I'm saying? They're excited for me. So I had no choice but to be excited for myself. And making an instant impact. 
college football is hard. So anytime you can you can get in that box, that color box is is definitely something that you should be proud of. So seeing the smiles and you know getting the daps from my from my teammates, that was the most gratifying part for me. He's handled extremely well. I mean, you know. He was, he was just so happy to be able to help the team win. The Norview product has gone from starter to backup to being back on the field in a year and a half. While his snaps might not be as consistent as he once dreamed of, Mac is cherishing the ones he gets. While staying focused on building the tradition he and Ronnie talked about on that first phone call. Enjoy where they at, you know what I'm saying, and be where their feet are. Well, still to come, we sit back down with Coach and turn the clock back nearly two decades. Stick with us. The Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. CBS Friday is a night of big action. Without further ado, I'm finding something to live for. I like me to show me your hands. It is going to be a lot of fun. People are in danger, man. Nice. It's all new tonight at 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Our family has always been about service and putting country first. So I was shocked to learn that Jen Kiggins put her special interest donors ahead of us. Kiggins voted against cracking down on predatory lenders and their unfair practices that especially hurt military families. Turns out, Kiggins took all that money from special interests funded by the payday loan industry. Jen Kiggins is a fraud, bought and sold by the special interests. Vote Vets is responsible for the content of this advertising. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments, find new roads. Get 1,500 total cash allowance on all 2022 Silverado pickups with a 2.7 liter turbo engine. Plus, now during truck season, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When the Soviet Union put the world in danger, we built the strongest Navy in the world. Today, China's influence and aggression threaten our allies and our economy. I'm Elaine Luria, and as Vice Chair of the Armed Services Committee, I'm fighting to grow our Navy. I bucked the Biden administration and added $62 billion to the defense budget. I approve this message because a strong Navy means a strong America, and that's what I'm fighting for in Congress. Wells Fargo lets you know where you stand with your FICO credit score. What if you knew where you stood with everything? Like your future in-laws. Hope you like cats. Uh, I hope your parents like me. <laughs> They're whispering. The kid is my <laughs> Can they tell I'm allergic? Tears of joy. Welcome to the family. <sighs> like knowing where you stand? When it comes to your credit score, you can with Wells Fargo. Well, there are certain things about high school that stand out to us. Other things, not so much. Well, Coach Ronnie giving an interview to the Denver Post back during his high school days. So we took advantage of a chance to test Coach on his memory. So now we're going to hear from Coach, but we're going to take him back. I would say this is probably about 20, 21 years. Yeah. And you did an interview with the Denver Post when you were in high school. Yeah. And they went down and they asked you a couple questions. And we're going to see what your answers are now and how they stack up to the Denver Post interview. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so can can I can I try to say what I th think it was? Yeah, 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 yeah. Try to guess and then tell us if if that's the thing. So okay, let's start with your favorite food. Um, I think I said I'm gonna say I said lasagna. Right? No, no, no incorrect. All right. I'm gonna, what, how many guesses do you want before I just tell you? No, no, you can just tell me. Hamburgers. Hamburgers. I love hamburgers. I would, I, I would say my, my favorite food now is, is, is steak. 
A yeah, really nice, yeah. good steak, but the adult hamburger, <laughs> the adult meat, right? I mean, like, <laughs> but but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. A really good hamburger yes. or a really good slice of pizza is, is gonna be a close second. Right. Exactly. But see, I feel with those, you can't really say they're your favorite food now as an adult, right? I mean, because oh, everybody likes. Oh, you're. I got no problem saying that. Yeah, no problem. Okay. So, yeah. All but right. I just, I really good steak. Steak is. I, I'm, I'm with you there. Steak is fantastic. Rib, ribeye. Um, let's move on to your favorite subject. Uh, history. History is correct. Yeah, yeah, that's that's no brainer. I guess your favorite subject now is football, so we can just. Uh, I don't know. History's real close. I love history. Here's one favorite movie. Wow. Favorite movie. I, I don't have any idea what I would have said back then, and I certainly don't know now. I've got it. It really depends. I, I I like comedies and things like that. I love Shawshank Redemption. That's a great movie. It is, right? Yeah, yeah. All, um, on AMC every now and again. It, still, yeah, every once in a while, <laughs> it's always on. Um, I love that. I love. Um, um, I bet I said Happy Gilmore. You did say Happy Gilmore. That's exactly what you said. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's it. a, the Nailed synapse it. in your brain fired yeah. at the perfect time. Which is, which is, by the way, a great movie. It is. Uh, great. But I like uh, comedies. I, I would say one of my favorite comedies now. Not a lot of people have seen it, but Role Models. Mm -hmm. I've never seen that movie. It's excellent. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so we're sticking in the comedy theme. Favorite entertainer, and you probably can get this one after you uh, got your movie. Yeah, it's probably Adam Sandler, but like now, I don't have a favorite entertainer. Um, yeah, that 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 one's. I, I should be better than that. that I, I should be better. Did you outgrow Adam Sandler? Did you say? Just I wouldn't say spot? Grew, I mean, but I'm just saying, like, I think I think I need I think I need to be better than that. I I, I should be have have a little bit more. Uh, I don't know. We'll give you a chance to revise your answer. Nuance. Okay. That. I, I don't have one now. I wouldn't say so. I I, I I couldn't I couldn't answer that now. Okay. All right. But not Adam Sandler. Yeah. But even though Adam Sandler makes some funny movies. Yeah. I, I, there's yeah. no doubt. Yeah. No yeah. doubt at all. All right. Favorite athlete. Oh man. Well, okay. So growing up, my favorite football player was Marcus Allen. He was my favorite player. I had a signed autograph by him, mainly because my he played the piano, and it's the way that my mom convinced me that playing the piano was tough, right? So that was <laughs> really smart by Deborah Arnish. Yeah, that right, right. Yeah, um, yeah. Smart veteran move. Yeah. I also I liked Dan Marino back in the day because he could sling it and he didn't really run around and uh -huh. he just kind of slung it. So I, I would say. I would say those those are probably those are probably up there. Dan Marino is who you said. Yes. Yep. Um, now you said because he didn't run around and and, and yeah, I wasn't. A, I wasn't that, was, that, was that you as a, as a, as a quarterback? I'm gonna be honest. We didn't really run back then. I mean, I ran all right. I mean, yeah. But like, I mean, I had ten rushing touchdowns my senior year That's in high bad. school. Yeah. Remember yeah. your forty time? That's not on here. I'm just curious. <laughs> I mean, it was. I think it was sub four eight. Um, okay. Yeah, not not in high school. I, I got I got a little better once I went to college. I was still a little. Gay. I grew ten inches my sophomore year, in between my freshman and sophomore year in high school. Hit that big growth spurt. You no, know, not exactly. I was a little bit like a baby giraffe. So okay. It was a bad deal. Yeah. Got some more speed once you got to Cornell. Understood. Yeah. Okay. So favorite athlete Dan Reno. Favorite team. Uh. Well, yeah. My favorite team was the Raiders. Yep. Yeah. And and that for a kid growing up in Denver, it's a tough deal. Like so, we'd go to the yeah. games. We'd go to the Raiders games, right? And I would wear going to the game. I had a Steve Watson, who was a former Bronco, right? I had a Steve Watson jersey. And when I get to the game, I would take it off and I'd have a Raiders jersey on because walking to and from the game, the yep. first time I did that, like it was a scary deal. Like yeah. people would yell some like unconscious, like and, some and, unconscionable things and to a seven-year-old. I was gonna kid. say they don't care how old no, you are either. No, exactly. Growing no, up near Philadelphia, so. that was obviously something that we went through uh, yeah. in Philadelphia too. And we'll have more of that interview with Coach Ronnie next week. That wraps up today's Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show, Georgia Southern and Old Dominion, tomorrow at 3.30 at Ballard Stadium. For Zach Staten, I'm Mark Davis. Have a great day, everybody. And go Monarchs. And here's Wolf back to throw in a second and long. Looking into the end zone pass is going to be cut! Isaiah Page! Touchdown, Old Dominion! His first as a Monarch! Hand the ball off to Watson, off left tackle, he's boosting through again, down the far sideline, it's a foot race for Blake Watson inside the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown!